and welcome back to another awesome, amazing video. So today I have a really exciting video for you guys. Um, I feel like I've been filming a lot of content, but it's just been taking me a long time to upload it. Um, but please do know that I am filming content and whenever you see this, hopefully it's soon. Um, just know I am working to get you guys continuous content and find some type of schedule. But as you can see by this title, I am doing a college grocery haul. Um, this college grocery haul is not in its entirety. I did not buy everything that I would get if I was coming into college like first thing, like fresh and new. I still do have certain things here, um, so I didn't have to like completely re-up, but I did need to get a lot of different things. Um, so yeah, and this video is also going to feature um, our quote unquote Knight's Pantry um, selection here at Newman. Um, I wanted to feature them in a video because I felt like it was an amazing um, resource for college students. And I wanted to show you guys what I would get if I was to go in there and show you that the process is super easy, super quick and not intimidating but i'll get to that later on in the video so without further ado let's get into the groceries so i'm gonna start with the cold things first like i said i am a college student so diet well, yeah but um we're gonna start with the cold stuff first because the cold stuff needs to go in the freezer thank you so first thing is i got the banquet um fish sticks and mac and cheese meal so then i got the macaroni and cheese um banquet meal and then i also got the pot pies i also used to love pot pies i got the um oh they were they were upside down oops i got the beef well i got two beef and then one chicken and then the last cold thing that is like pressing and they are already melted is my condite bars i love condite bars and these are the original kind i'm gonna put this in my freezer really quickly and i'll be right back um i like to have like three different types of drinks here um it just gives me like a bit of variety um, so something that I like to do, um, ever since I started college was drinking lemon water or some type of citrus water, uh, honestly, just fruit water in general, um, because I don't have a kitchen, it's sort of hard to keep fresh fruit on standby. <laughs> and like, I don't, I'm not allowed to have a blender here. So it's sort of pointless besides like if I was to have like oatmeal with fresh fruit and I'm like, that's not really my vibe. But I do like to drink citrus water still. Um, so I'll just have some water, like a bottle of water or something, and I'll squeeze some fruit juice in it. And right now I just bought the lime juice. I got three Celsiuses. Um, I've only had a Celsius once and it was absolutely amazing. I think I got like wild berry or a grape or something but it was so good and i've heard so many good reviews on these things i got um some kombucha i only buy one of these at a time because i literally like i don't drink that much of it at a time but this one is the multi green um flavored one i've never tried this before um and let's see what does it have in it it has kombucha well gt's kombucha black tea green tea kiwi juice um blue green algae spirulina corella yeah that's all so i'm super excited for this i've tasted spirulina a couple times no once no yeah once um but i didn't really like it was like a, I didn't, I couldn't tell like the flavor and I've never tried chlorophyll before and that's in here. So hmm. 
Um, <laughs> no, mm, mm, mm. yeah, no, mm. it literally tastes like uh, if I can find a picture of the cereal, I'm gonna put it here. But it tastes like those wheat cereals, and it's not good, it's not good. It's all right, don't mind my hair, but y'all know the honey graham cereal. It's like Cinnamon Toast Crunch's um, conniving best friend who wants to be them type of vibe. Like, I, I, if I can find a picture, I'll put it in. Probably not. But if I find it and I find the motivation, I'll put it in. But it tastes exactly like that. It was really disgusting. I highly do not recommend. But that brand does have good kombuchas. Um... And this probably tastes good to somebody else, but it did not taste good to me. But the other ones are good. The mango uh, pineapple or something like that is really good. Yeah. <laughs> and then I also got the Downy Unstoppables. I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> I'm sold. My sheets smell so good. I used to have the purple, now I have the oh these are the original in the tide scent but it's downy i also got the snuggle super fresh fabric softener um what does fabric softener do oh i like the smell of this this is an original scent i don't know what fabric softener does but hopefully it does something all right so then i got um, literally just one of the Mike's Mighty Good um, Beef Ramen Soup. Um, looked interesting. Then I got probably like the, the, the thing I'm most excited about in this haul. I got some seaweed. Um, just regular sea salt in the Gimme Organic Brands. I actually picked up a single pack. Like it was just one um, of the sesame flavored kind and I ate it all in the car. So and then I got some of the Tori Howard assorted chewy fruities. Um, what? Sorry, anyway. Um, they're just like little chews and they're like, there's 20 like packs in here. This was like nine something guys, like, I mean, I would hope, I hope they're good. And they are, they're like no corn syrup, no artificial flavors, no artificial dyes, non -G no GMOs, um, gluten-free, organic, like, ooh, great. But all right now, you know. They can lower the price just maybe a little bit. And I got some Slim Jims in the mild. Um, just the 14 pack. I love Slim Jims. That is it for this portion of the video. Now let's get into the Knight's Pantry. So the Knight's Pantry is pretty much um, a donation-based organization here on campus. And you can find it on the fifth floor of the Rabasino building. I said Rabasino. The Abacino building, otherwise known as the Rab. It is at the bottom of the hill if you are unfamiliar um, or if you're a new student, you will know the hill. If you haven't come here yet for your tour, you will know what the hill is your first tour. <clears throat> but it is that building at the bottom of the hill and pretty much you go up to the fifth floor. I will post the hours right here, but you can go up there during those hours and they normally give you a bag. I will show you my bag. Um, but this is what the bag looks like. You take this bag or any bag, it doesn't really matter, but they give you a bag just in case you don't have one. Take this bag and you go and grab what you need and walk on out. Now, um, I obviously am going to encourage you guys to not take more than you need. Um, this is a donation-based organization. 
They are doing this to help college students in need. Um, but in need is not you are scraping around for coins. That you can definitely go there if that is your circumstance and that is your situation. But if, let's say, um, money was a little tight this week or you didn't work as many hours this week or um, you are studying for midterms and you just don't have time to go grocery shopping right now, the Knight's Pantry is there for you. It is your resource for you. So I highly encourage you guys to go check it out if you are a student here. It is only for Newman students only, um, but I am gonna be taking you guys along with me. Um, I actually went, I've been once so far and I'm going to take you guys along on a second trip, but some of this footage is gonna be a mixture of both. That's why you're gonna see me with two different hairstyles. <laughs> Um, but one was at the beginning of the school year and then one is two days from now. So I'm going to be filming this Wednesday and it's Monday right now. So, um, yes, if you have any questions, please leave them down below and I will be glad to help you, um, with those questions. If I can't answer them, I can definitely point you out to someone who will. And if, um, you're sort of not too fond of leaving a comment down below you can always follow me on instagram and dm me on instagram and i will help you with your question that way once again great resource thank you knight's pantry for allowing me to do this segment on the knight's pantry and i'm really appreciative and yeah let's go to the clips Hey guys, so, oh, let me get them out of the view, but I am currently in the Knight's Pantry, and can y'all hear me? Okay, let me pull the camera closer. I'm currently in the Knight's Pantry every day, no, I think it's two days a week. I'll put the, I'll put a picture of, like, what the actual hours are. But pretty much you can get all types of stuff for free. It's totally confidential. Um, you don't, there's no questions asked. You're perfectly safe and perfectly fine to come in here and grab what you need and come on out. Um, the people here are so, so nice. So I'm gonna give you guys a tour of pretty much what you guys can get. And I got some stuff because who doesn't need a little help, especially as a college student, They gave you this really cute bag. But first, I got the Black Jewel Sweet and Salty Popcorn. Never tried this before. Really excited to try it. And then, I got two apple juices. And um, I don't like drink juice a lot, but I know that I never buy any. So, this is cool. I only got two, though. And then, they had these Supernola um clusters granola clusters which is a great snack i'm going to be starting dance really soon so having something just to snack on or running the class and then lastly i got the power crunch bar um it's in peanut butter cream it's a protein energy bar perfect for getting something easy and quick and before class all right guys so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed i i, I mean yeah i i don't know 
it felt it feels really good to be sitting here and filming a video for you guys um it's been a while since i've actually been sitting down and filming a video so i don't know feels more i feel connected here <laughs> but i hope you guys like this video make sure to like this video if you want to see more of this content i am perfectly willing to do more please make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content like this and leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the night pantry or just anything that you want to say i would love to hear what you have to say and yeah more videos are coming soon and I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.